Hey guys! Today I'm starting with a new series on my channel where I will be recreating hairstyles from old movies and photographs. Starting with the not so popular movie Junior Prom, which was released in 1946. I was instantly inspired by all the outfits and hairstyles of the high school students. I especially love Dodie Rogers' fluffy and very typical 1940s schoolgirl hairstyle. So today I want to show you how you can achieve a similar look to hers. So as you can see, I was setting my hair in sponge rollers. In the front I'm using them with bobby pins and in the back without bobby pins. And what I was using besides the sponge rollers were some hair clips to set my wave, a hair rat, a hair comb, you can also use a brush to brush out your hair, some bobby pins and a headscarf. To start off, I am taking out all these sponge rollers, of course. I usually start at the back and then work my way to the top of my head. Bring your buddies, but don't bring the dean to the teen canteen. Then I'm starting off to brush out my hair in the back. I'm doing this row by row and as you can see I am just simply brushing through it. to also get those ends of yours. My ends are very very dry and I need to get a hairdresser appointment as soon as possible. You can see how dry they are. Um, so make sure if you have dry ends that you still brush through them. You could also brush them under and create a kind of page boy look. Because what I noticed is that her hair was not as fluffy and voluminous as my hair of course because she doesn't have natural hair. So if I would have tucked them under a bit more, brushed them under I mean, and create a bit of a page boy, it probably would have looked much more like her hairstyle, just to let you know. But as you can see here, I am taking my hair clips, putting a bit of setting lotion onto them, or you can also use hairspray so that the wave is kind of more set and it's a bit more subtle. And I'm doing this on both sides of my hair. And then I was starting to get to the front part of my hair and I was taking out all the bobby pins in the front. I like to have bobby pins in the front, I don't know why, I think that the curls are much more defined that way, if that makes sense. I once saw this on Instagram, tried it and actually just liked it more than putting my hair in normal sponge rollers. And here you can see the shine of my hair which is coming from the coconut oil that I use to both straighten and set my hair. If you want to see how I straighten my hair to do pin curls, check out my how I do pin curls video, which I posted a few months back. Now I'm just creating three sections with my hair. So we have two sections on the sides and then one section in the front. And I'm just clipping them away because the first section that you will need is the middle section. Now let's get to that front section. So the first thing that I did was brushing through the section and then I was, you can see I was kind of trying out how it would look without a hair red and then later on I added the hair red and created this kind of 
bump bang hairstyle. And sadly, I decided to get rid of the hair red because I thought that it would look too much like a bump bang hairstyle. So here you can see how I tried to recreate the volume that she has in her hairstyle without a hair red. And looking back, I kind of regret not using the hair red because, of course, Without a hair red, I do not have as much volume in my hair as she has in her hairstyle. But nevertheless, I still tried my best and I created this kind of thing. I don't even know what to call it. But I guess you understood what I was doing. And then with the rest of the hair that was sticking out, I was just pinning it down and creating some curls in the back. And after that, I was just making sure that everything was smooth and staying in place. And then I got to the side sections of my hair. And with those, like in most 1940s hairstyles, I was just doing some kind of victory rolls on the sides. Just to get some more volume. And I was doing that on both sides. I can't show my face, can't go any place. People stop and stare, it's so hard to bear Everybody knows you've left me It's the talk of the town Every time we meet, my heart skips a beat We don't stop to speak after I was happy with the front and side sections, I was taking out my hair clips just to see how that wave turned out. And here you can see that wave. <laughs> and then I was taking my headscarf, I was just using this white transparent vintage headscarf. And I was placing it under my head and then I was pinning my pin curls more onto my head because in the picture you can see that her hair, her pin curls also start more above her ears if that makes sense because of the headscarf. So I was doing that as well. And then I was creating this little bow in my hair and she actually only has a headband and not a bow but I thought that it would go very well with the whole schoolgirl aesthetic and I've also seen her sister wearing multiple bows in the movie so I thought it was quite fitting. So now I'm just doing the last finishing touches, brushing through my hair, securing the hair on the sides a little bit more and yeah. And now on to the final result. If, and with a big if, he's elected. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!